Well, it only took like four years, but you could finally be a bona fide captain in Sea of Thieves. You know, instead of just pretending to be one while you yell at the other players and your crew for getting drunk on grog. So, how do you become a captain? And also, what perks does being a captain get you? Well, I'm Jamie Latour, and I'm going to show you how to buy your own ship in Sea of Thieves. To purchase your own ship, you need to go to this menu, which is wedged in here, next to where you usually choose the size of your ship. Clicking on here will either allow you to select which of your owned ships you want to set sail with, or let you begin the boat buying process. Provided that you have enough gold, you can either buy a sloop for 250,000 gold, a brigadine for 375,000 gold, or a galleon for 500,000 gold. Once you know what kind of ship you want, you'll be given the option to name it. As you may have guessed, since this is a game meant for families, your name can't be very raunchy. So get your mind out of the gutter, you perverts. Your name also can't be over 20 characters, and you can't use numbers, periods, or certain special characters. Once you've entered in a name that the game deems to be acceptable and you've confirmed your purchase, you'll officially be a captain. You'll then be taken to a sub-menu where you can manage things for your ship, like restoring the state of your ship if it's been damaged, or dismantling the ship if you don't want it anymore. Just keep in mind that if you dismantle your ship, you don't get the gold back, and you lose any progress that you've made with that specific vessel. You'll also have the option here to rename your ship, but you'll need to buy a renaming deed to do that, which will cost you 499 ancient coins. That means you'll have to cough up some real-world money to get a hold of one of those. Now that you've got your own ship, you have access to special perks only available to captains. First of all, not only will your ship proudly display your new ship name, but you'll also have a ship's logbook that will keep track of most of the deeds and misdeeds you've committed on your ship. Be careful with this book, as it can be stolen by rival crews and sold to the Reaper's bones. The longer a ship has stayed afloat without sinking, the more valuable a logbook becomes. You can spruce up your boat by placing trinkets and new kinds of furniture inside of it. You can buy these new decorations from any shipwright on the outpost. However, as you can see, you have to unlock most of these decorations in order to buy them. How do you unlock them? by completing milestones. Milestones are a series of new challenges that reward you for engaging in activities in the game. There's milestones related to making gold, completing voyages, raising emissary flags, fighting, hunting and cooking, being a drunk idiot, dying a whole bunch, and simply captaining your own ships. If you're sailing a ship that you own, you'll earn milestone progress for that ship. If you're not sailing on a ship that you're the captain of, you'll still earn milestone progress for yourself. Going back to the shipwright, these NPCs will have a variety of new services exclusively for captains. They'll sell supplies that will be added directly to the barrels on your ship. The shipwright will also offer special captain voyages that you can purchase. These voyages can be bought one at a time or in bundles of five. There are voyages tied to the Gold Hoarders, Merchants Alliance, or Order of Souls trading companies. There are also special voyages, including some for pirate legends, that may give you some good Athena's fortune or Ashen treasure. These voyages will be placed on this shelf on your ship once you've acquired them. Then you can go to the captain's table and select which ones you want to begin. The shipwright will also restore your ship back to its former glory and you could use the ship customization chest to save cosmetics to your ship for a fee. The final new perk that captains gain is the ability to sell all of your ill-gotten loot directly to these new NPCs known as the Sovereigns. These snooty aristocrats will buy up any treasure that you've picked up. This means you no longer need to drag every chest to the Gold Hoarders and every skull to the Order of Souls. Instead, you could just bring everything straight to the Sovereigns and get the same amount of gold, doubloons, and reputation. Just keep in mind that these guys will only deal with captains, so if your ship doesn't have a captain on it, you can't sell anything to them. 
They also won't accept items that need to be sold to the Reaper's Bones, which means you can't sell emissary flags or logbooks to them. And there you go. Now you know how to begin your journey as a ship captain in Sea of Thieves. Good luck out there, and hopefully your boat will only occasionally catch on fire. For more gaming news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.